In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp messages from Outlook email automatically. So what will happen? Whenever someone sends an email on my Outlook account, you will see the same email will be received on my WhatsApp number as well along with all the email details like the name of the person, the email address of the person, the subject line and even the content of that email. Now you must be thinking, how did I manage to receive these emails on my WhatsApp number from Outlook? So basically, I have built a connection in this Microsoft Outlook and Interact application which is an amazing application for sending the WhatsApp messages and how did I connect these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect it is an integration and automation software and since I am an existing user of Pabli Connect here you can see I am already logged in you can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided i have pasted the name as send emails from outlook to whatsapp automatically now click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action and here trigger means means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this so you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to the customer okay and here according to our use case whenever any new email is arrived in microsoft outlook account okay so that that is why I will be selecting this Microsoft Office 365 application then automatically send this mail on WhatsApp application and as I have told you for sending the WhatsApp messages I am going to use this interact application okay so I have connected I have selected these two application in this trigger and the action window now the idea here is I am going to connect these two applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so firstly I will select the trigger event as new email okay you can also read the instructions that this will trigger when a new message is arrived and I want to do the same that whenever any new email is arrived in my Microsoft Outlook account firstly the details of that email should be captured via Pabli Connect and then we will send those details into our interact application basically on WhatsApp okay so simply click on connect then click on add a new connection click on connect with microsoft office 365 and then you will have to provide the access of your microsoft outlook account well i am already logged in into my microsoft outlook account so instead of asking me the access it is asking me for the permission which i have provided now you will see how the authorization will be successful and my microsoft office 365 account will be connected with the pabli connect okay now as soon as i'll click on this button you will notice that the most recent email details will be received via Pabli Connect okay so here you can notice the response is received now I am going to send an email on my Outlook account from completely a different account and then I'll click on this button once again and you will notice how the email details will be received via Pabli Connect okay let me close this landing page okay so I have already opened a different Gmail account here you can see completely into a different different app and now I am going to send this specific email on my Outlook account that is applying for digital marketing profile hello I would like to apply for digital marketing profile in your company I have seven years experience and now I will add my email ID here okay Alright, so I have provided my Outlook email clicking on send and you will see the email will be sent and let us check our Outlook account first. Alright, so this is my Outlook account. Let me refresh it. 
and here you can see the new email is arrived it is the same email here you can notice the same subject line and the same content of the email now since we are connected basically my microsoft outlook and pabli connect account is connected as soon as i'll click on this button you will notice these details will be received via pabli connect okay so here you can notice applying for digital marketing profile this is the subject line and here you can notice the response is received already this is the same subject line we even have the sent time we even have the name of the person who has sent us an email okay let me also show you other details all right so here we have the email address of the sender and we have other details also like the body of the email let me show you the same where is the body all right here you can see this is the same content okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our microsoft outlook and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to send an email on my outlook account the same email will be received via pabli connect in every 10 minutes Now, why in every ten minutes? Because this trigger will check for the new data in ten minutes. Okay, so don't worry if your data is not getting captured in real time. You will have to wait for at least ten minutes patiently. Okay, so the first step of our automation is done. Now I am going to send these emails on my WhatsApp. Okay, so that I can receive all the email details on my WhatsApp number only. Okay, so firstly I will select the action event that is send WhatsApp template. message and just like we have connected microsoft outlook and pabli connect now we will be connecting interact and pabli connect okay so simply select this add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the secret key okay so i am going to open this documentation link from where i can actually access the secret key basically the token of interact okay so here you can see under the developer settings you will find your secret key let me copy the same come back to pabli connect dash board let me paste to the same here clicking on save and this is how my interact application will be also connected with the pabli connect okay now it is asking for the country code the phone number the full phone number and several other details now i have a doubt why it is asking the phone number at two different places okay so before i explain you anything firstly i will show you the note which is important note it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both phone number and the country code so basically it completely depends on what type of number you have currently if you have the full phone number and here the full phone number means along with the country code number along with the country code okay so if you have the number along with the country code then kindly provide the number in this specific field but if you do not have the country code if you only have the phone number then you can separately provide the country code and phone number okay but the interesting part here is we are not taking the data from our previous step we are going to add it manually in this particular field okay so it is completely up to us that in which particular field we would like to provide the number okay. so here i will be providing my genuine whatsapp number so that every time i will receive an email on my outlook account it should be received on my whatsapp number as well okay so make sure that you provide the number in this specific format okay currently in front of you i will be adding adding a dummy phone number but don't worry before i click on this final button i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number now it is asking for the template code the language code and several other things okay so before i show you how you can fetch this code name firstly i will tell you what is this template all about okay so this is the application via which we are going to send the whatsapp messages that is interact here you can notice and once you will create your account in interact make sure whenever you want to send any kind of message to your customers to your clients or to your users you will always have to create a whatsapp template okay once the template is created you will have to submit it for the approval and once it is approved then only you are able to send the whatsapp messages okay then only you are able to initiate the conversation with your customers okay so let me show you under this active section you will find various message templates which i have already created and even i have got the approval also
also of these templates here you can notice whatever the templates marked with the green color are actually the approved one and if you will notice any template with a red color these templates are actually the rejected one okay yes it happens sometimes your templates even got rejected from a uh, parent company of whatsapp that is meta okay and if i will show you the status here you can notice there are three status the approved the pending and the rejected okay so the green color templates are called as approved the yellow color templates are called as pending and the red color templates are called as rejected now i will show you that which particular template i have already created and get it approved for sending the emails basically for receiving the emails on my whatsapp number so here you can notice i have two templates and i have created this specific template for receiving the messages on my whatsapp number here you can notice i have provided the name to this template that is email sent the language i have selected is english the category i have selected is utility okay header is completely optional but yes i have selected a header that is text okay in case you want to attach any video any document any image along with the header of your message you can also do the same it is completely up to you moving further here you can see from this particular area you can compose your message okay so whatever the things you would like to send to your customer or receive on your own whatsapp number you can compose the message from here okay now you must be thinking what are these numbers packed with the curly braces okay so these are called as variables and whatever the details i want to keep on changing automatically i have specifically added those details in the form of variable and from where you can add these details basically these variables well currently i am into the view mode so that is why those options are not visible here but you can add as many as variables as you want into the edit mode basically when you will create the template you can even do the formatting of your template but all those options will be visible in the editing mode okay and the interesting part here is i have composed a single message only and the same message will get sent to all the people or you can say same message will be received on my number for every single email only the details will be replaced automatically okay footer and buttons were also optional so currently i have not added any footer and buttons along with my message and let me tell you once you will create your template do not forget to provide the samples now what are samples basically it is just a dummy content a demo content or you can say a sample content which you are telling to the system that what values will come in place of these variable okay once you will provide the sample contents simply submit this template for the approval and once the template is approved you are actually ready to send the messages okay so this is already approved template so firstly i will copy the code the template code from the url make sure that you do not include these two slashes okay coming back to pabli connected dashboard and here i will paste the same code that is the template code asking for the language code okay so remember i have told you that i have selected the language as english okay here you can notice so the code for language is going to be en and the code for english us is going to be en and us okay so let me provide the same that is en asking for the header value remember we have kept a text in the form of variable basically in the place of variable okay so let me paste the same thing here okay and since i have provided this value manually this text manually this text will remain same for every single email okay now the most interesting part is the body variable values okay so we are going to provide that what value will come in place of these variables how you can read the instruction you just need to provide the value separated by a comma okay so for example if you have two variables you can provide the values separated by a comma okay currently we have four variables and in the first field in the first variable i want that the name of the sender should appear okay so i am going to provide the details from where remember we have already captured this data into our previous step and i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple okay you just need to 
click on this field and you will find the, the above data the same data here in the drop down let me search for the name of the person which was this that is henry quest okay i have mapped it now it's turn for the second variable so firstly i will add a comma and then i will map the email address of the sender okay so let me search for the email address with the help of add the rate all right so this is the from email address which again i have successfully mapped now i will again put a comma and map the value for the third variable which is going to be the subject line let me again search for the subject line and remember we have added this specific subject line while sending this email and lastly i will provide the body of the email basically the content okay here you can notice hello i would like to apply for digital marketing profile in your company i have a seven years experience okay so i have provided the values to all the four variables now i am going to click on this button okay but uh, before that firstly i will replace this dummy number with a genuine one okay and let me tell you one more thing since we have not included any dynamic url basically the button and the url so that is why i will leave these two fields blank okay so let me first replace this number and then finally i am going to click on that button and you will notice how the email will be received the details will be received on my whatsapp number before that let me first delete the existing chat so that i can show you everything from scratch okay so let me provide the number all right so i have added my whatsapp number clicking on this button save and send test request and fingers crossed wait for the response and here you can notice the response is received which is a positive response let me go back to my whatsapp account and let me refresh it and wait for that email to be arrived wait for that email details to be arrived and here you can notice the email the message is arrived on my whatsapp number new email is arrived new email is arrived the from name is this the email subject line is this i'm sorry the email address is this the subject line is the same applying for digital marketing profile and we have the content as well that is hello i would like to apply for digital marketing profile in your company i have seven years experience okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to send an email on your outlook account you will receive the same email along with all the email details on your whatsapp number as well and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabbi connect just once but there is one more twist in this automation so currently we have created an automation something like whenever any new email is received in microsoft outlook account the details should be received on interact but i am receiving lot of emails on my microsoft outlook account including all the company related emails including all the marketing emails including all the candidates emails okay so i do not want to receive every kind of email on my whatsapp number i just want to receive the specific kind of emails like the job related emails okay so how i can fill the such kind of emails from my outlook account and then how i can receive those specific emails only okay so we are going to specify a condition in between these two steps how we can establish this kind of condition okay so simply click on this plus icon and with the help of filter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect we are going to apply this condition and we will be setting up this condition on our subject line and on the body of the content basically we will specify we will pick some words like job vacancy resume apply we will pick some set of keywords and we will specify here that if my subject line and the email content consist of these words then only my automation should proceed otherwise this automation will stop here only okay so let me tell you how you can build this scenario in this filter okay so in this select label you will find all the option of microsoft out look firstly i will be setting up the condition on my subject line okay so if my subject line contains the word okay so i will be selecting contains contains the word like job and along with 
take this job keyword i will also add two to three more keywords on my subject line only with the help of this or condition now why i am selecting this or condition instead of this and condition because i want that if any of the condition is true then the automation can proceed otherwise it should be stopped here only okay so for the second condition in the second condition again search for the subject line which was applying for the digital marketing if my subject line again consist of the words like vacancy okay and lastly i'll add one more condition on the subject line okay again search for the subject line here all right and then search for the contains and add the value as resume okay so i am applying only three cases here now it is up to you that what number of combination the set of words you would like to apply here okay you can uh, do that as per your requirement and along with the subject line i am going to specify the same condition on the email content as well again i will be clicking on this or condition and how about i or click on this or condition two more times okay so basically i am adding this or condition three more times on my email content okay so firstly again i will search for the content which was body okay so this was my content let me select the same here also again body search for that okay so where is that content all right so i have selected this body in all the three cases okay it is done and then i will select the contents if my body of the email contains the word like and firstly i will write it as job then i will write the resume word and then lastly i will write something like vacancy okay again i am telling you it is completely up to you that what number of conditions you would like to apply here currently i am applying only six conditions just to show you how you can set these kind of conditions within your automation within your workflow now i am going to click on this button and you will notice that this condition is going to be true because one of the condition is of course getting satisfied okay so here you can notice uh, i have applied several condition they basically my subject line should consist of the word apply the resume the job resume again okay so let us check that which particular condition is getting satisfied here okay so so i am going to review my subject line all right so we have the word like apply in our subject line so that is why this condition has true and now what will happen our automation will proceed further and further it is going to send the whatsapp message as the next step basically on my number only it is going to forward the same email okay so this is how you can create this automation with the pabli connect and once you have created this automation in pabli connect you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free and just in case if i have forgot to tell you this important thing let me tell you this let me mention you this whatever the details we have mapped here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time and whatever the details we have provided manually these details will remain same okay so i hope you have understood everything not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video